Well, the trial of former South Korean President Park in hae has been delayed to today from Monday. Following her absence, she has been indicted for corruption involving her confidant Choi Sun si And according to the Seoul Central District Court and correctional authorities, Park refused to appear at the court, citing back pain. And the trial had come to a halt 43 days prior when her legal team resigned to protest a continuation of her detention. Now, for more on the trial, let's go to our correspondent, uh, Jack Barton in Seoul. Hello there, Jack. Good morning from Beijing. Well, the trial has indeed been a drawn-out process. Where does it, the trial stand right now? What can we expect to see? Yeah, well, it's in a very tricky situation, a little complicated really by the uh, verdict in the Samsung trial of the heir apparent of Samsung, E.J. Uh, Young. All of this tied into Park Gun uh, Hayes trial. Park accused of handing out political favors to big companies and company officials like E.J. Young in return for Samsung and other companies turning over millions of dollars in uh, alleged bribe money to a close friend of the president. But in that conviction that has already occurred in the Samsung trial, it was really based on circumstantial evidence. Uh, the prosecution failed to really find uh, the smoking gun. What they found, though, was so much uh, circumstantial evidence that the judge was swayed. So it's pretty clear they want to find something more concrete when it comes to seeking a conviction uh, of the former president herself. And that's why when that initial period of detention expired back in October, the prosecution sought for an extension. But everybody had expected the trial to wrap up around then. So we saw uh, former President Park geun hees entire legal team resigning, walking off in protest, then saying the trial had become a, more of a witch hunt than a... A, a process of justice. The president, uh, the former president herself, also making a very rare speech in court, essentially saying she believed the same thing and that she wasn't going to cooperate with the trial anymore. And that's what we've seen. She was supposed to appear in court on Monday, but as you mentioned, she cited back pain as well as knee pain, so she did not attend. Uh, there was a, a quick adjournment, and then it was decided to just wrap the day up, try and get uh, underway again today with or with without the president, according to the judge. Uh, but we're also hearing from uh, Park geun hees legal team, that is a court-appointed legal team of uh, public defenders. They say she's had no contact with them. She doesn't want to have anything to do with them. So it is going to be very difficult moving forward from here. It seems the former president herself does not want to appear in the court or have anything to do with the proceedings. Uh, her lawyer is not having any contact with her. So it's just going to have to move forward from here. But one way or the other, this is expected to wrap up sometime early next Next year probably in February all right so what have the public reactions been to this the long process of the trial are they still very much interested or exhausted rather well, they're very much interested but in a low-key way we saw a poll out yesterday which ranked uh, the events over the past year that South Koreans viewed as the top priorities now interestingly the tensions with the DPRK and its nuclear and missile programs ranked down at number three number one was the impeachment the arrest and the trial of Park geun hae so clearly it is very important in the minds of South Koreans. Again, having said that, it's getting very little media coverage at the moment. Certainly there are no anti-park protests out in the streets. People believe that justice is being done. Uh, so there's really no need to get out there and demonstrate it. Though it is surprising how little media coverage it gets here. On the other hand, those who support Park geun hae even though they're in a minority, uh, the polls around the time of the impeachment showed them at less than 10% of the population. They are a very vocal minority. They have continued to turn out every day that there's a trial day uh, outside the courthouse. And last Saturday, we saw 3,000 of them in the city centre holding a very vocal protest. They say they will continue right up until that verdict. But you know, in terms, again, of the larger public here, uh, it is very quiet. They have a sense that, uh, you know, the impeachment went ahead, the trial went ahead, justice is being served, and so they're just taking a, a wait and see, a sit and a watch. But the most important thing as far as they're concerned is whatever the result of this trial, Park geun -hye will not be the president again. Right. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Jack Barton reporting from Seoul.